Um, alright. Hi everyone. Uh, Danielle, you might have a bit of trouble editing this because I didn't move until a second after you said three because he said stand still, but then I was like, wait, I gotta move so she knows when I start. Yeah, that's that's fine. <laughs> okay, uh, so I'm gonna Move again on my three. Okay. One, two, three. Okay, that should be good. Um, hi everyone. Um, this episode's a mess. I'm in a completely different place than I was before. Should I explain while you play? Yes. Okay, so basically, there's this rule where we save state between every episode, but I went to look up some trivia uh, between episodes, and that trivia being episode 9 of this Let's Play is going to go up on the finale of the Emerald vs. or no, then the anniversary of the Emerald vs. finale. There you go. Um, and because I took a minute between episodes to look up that thing, um, I forgot to save state between episodes, so then we started recording the original version of this episode, and I guess this thing happened on Danielle's end, and she was disconnected from the internet, like, halfway through the episode, um, so we gotta start over, because she didn't keep the file, and it's blah, blah, blah. But I still had my save state. <laughs> but she still had her save state, and I did not. However, you do not, so you just get to sit there for ten minutes, I... that's about when the thing cut out. Yeah. 12 minutes, actually. 12 minutes? Uh, yeah, because um, Bandicam, which is what I used to record, has a counter on top that lets me know exactly how long I've been recording. So it was 12 minutes and something seconds. So I can stay for 12 minutes if you want. Right. I have an exact time, too. I just wasn't sure when exactly it cut out. So, It was All like right. 12 minutes-ish. When the thing hits 12 minutes, then you can move. Okay. Uh, and two minutes. So cool. Okay. Um... So, I hate to repeat myself, Danielle, but just for the sake of the video, just going to quickly fine. summarize anything significant I said before, and anything significant that happened while well off-screen. Uh, I got a bike, I got Rock Smash, um, De or Tyrone cannot learn Rock Smash, however, our newly hatched Togepi, named Queefstain, can learn Rock Smash, so that's who has Rock Smash. Um, I mentioned that... I'm going to enjoy visiting Danielle a lot more, because we're a couple now. Um, out of curiosity, is that how you view it? Yeah. Like, you think it's going to be a much nicer trip because, like, we're a thing now? Yeah. Why wouldn't right, it I was be? Just, I was just curious. I, I don't know how your mind works. <laughs> Which is weird, because, like, sometimes I feel as though, like, oh, Vinny's my best friend, like, I can tell what he's thinking and how he feels about something. Um... And with you, like, I I like to think I know you decently well, because we have been friends for quite some time, and we have been dating for nine months at the time of this video going up. So I, you know, I think I know you, at least decently, at the very least, but, like, at the same time, sometimes it's very hard to tell what you're going to think about something. Just the same way I yeah. get very hard while thinking about you. Anyway, um... <laughs> <laughs> I think that was all I said for significance. What I could do now... Well, I mean, I might as well not, because there's a very good chance that most of the people watching haven't seen the video, and obviously it's not going to be here. I kind of wish I was editing this one episode. <laughs> because then I could replace to, my... Can. No, because how... there's no way I'm going to get the files, because of that weird thing that oh, happens. Oh, right. Because if I was, though, then I could... Over since I'm not gonna be moving, I could show off the video and that leaked video, quote unquote, and talk about that. But I won't. Um, That's gonna be old news by the time this goes up, anyway. Probably, yeah. Uh, what to talk about? Well, today's July first. Uh, Wave five of Amiibo come out sometime this month. Turns out more than two are gonna come out, I think. But no release date or pre-order. Well, actually, Toys R Us had pre-orders. But they were, like, super early in the morning and I was asleep. So... <laughs> I'm still fucking pissed off about my pre-order on eBay and never do that. I... yeah. Never oh, fucking pre-order oh, Amiibo on eBay. Although, I mean... Hate to... hate to say anything, but I did warn against that back when you were first doing it, but whatever. Anyway... You warned uh, that I might not get it, not that it would take so goddamn long. Well, okay, but again, as you mentioned, had you not said anything, chances are you wouldn't have gotten it. <laughs> it's very good that you I said I understand you warned me against it, but it's not like you knew. 
Well, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I was just... Basically what happened is I I had, like, a Meta Knight restock pre-order on eBay. I, I bought it for 35 bucks. That was the cheapest I could get one a long time ago. Like, back in, I think, April is when I bought it. Uh-huh. Uh, the last date of the estimated estimated delivery day was supposed to be July 2nd. And I just looked at it just yesterday. Right now it's July 1st. And it still had not shipped from Hong Kong. I don't know if you guys have bought anything from Hong Kong, but the soonest you get anything from Hong Kong, it seems, is two weeks. Unless you pay for, like... Unless you pay for, like, super expedited shipping, but I generally find that isn't even an option. So mm -hmm. I contacted the seller, I was like, uh, hey, you're supposed to ship me this thing and you've had way more than enough time considering that the restock happened a fucking month ago. What is going on? And he was like, oh, sorry, I'll ship it now. And I'm like, you fucking asshole. I, <laughs> I like, asked if I could get a refund if I didn't get it by the estimated delivery day and he goes, oh, it's okay, I'll, I'll, I'll ship it now, you can wait two weeks. And I'm like, He's a dick. dick. I could get my refund, buy another Meta Knight amiibo, and walk away with an extra 15 bucks. Yeah, he's cheaper now. <sighs> what you could have done is, as the restocks were happening, check Best Buy. That was always an option. I mean, yes, I understand I why you did it. I could have, but I, I understand had a pre-order thing. Right, I understand why you did it. I'm just, I'm just saying. So, if I had done that, I would have been buying two. Mm -hmm. So, that would be stupid. Well, I mean, you could have sold one. I don't want to deal with that. I'm just thinking. I've never sold here. anything on eBay before. I've never sold anything online ever. Neither have I. I don't want to deal with it. <sighs> I've bought plenty of things. I hate buying stuff online. I'm the kind of person. You know this, Danielle. I'm the kind of person who wants to go to a store, buy the thing take it home and, and then have it like it, boom it took like what half an hour like go to the store buy the thing come home well depending on where the store is but I if I buy something I want to have it as soon as it's legally mine I do too but here's the thing with that a lot of the stuff that I for instance buy on eBay I cannot buy anywhere in real life and well, if I, I mean, get it on eBay even if it's something I can get in real life I could get it cheaper on eBay well okay I get that like, there are plenty of things that I bought that I wouldn't be able to find in the store, but even if it's, like, a retro game, yes, it's gonna cost more at, like, a retro game store, but I'd rather buy it at a retro game store than on eBay, because not only am I supporting that store, but then it gives the same, go to a store, buy what you, you look at the, look at, I like the sensation of going to a store, I, I like shopping, just depending on what I'm shopping. I like shopping too, but you know what I don't like? What? Driving. I'm sorry. Tell you what, Danielle. <laughs> you you what. have people to drive you places. I don't. I never have. Well, well, I'll tell you what. How about this? Once I'm able to drive, uh, if we spend our lives together, I will drive you everywhere. Awesome. W wherever you want to go, I will take you. I can show you That's fine, you as long as you're world. not a shitty driver. Shining, shimmering, splendid. Did you hear what I said? <laughs> yes, but see, okay. I wanted to. <sighs> I understand the comedy. I just actually wasn't sure if you heard me, cause it's Skype. I heard what you said, but now I'm gonna make an animation of like me getting all romantic and taking you like on a carpet, and then. <laughs> Did you hear what I said? <laughs> <laughs> this is why. This is why I'm the romantic one, and Danielle's like the not romantic one. I can be romantic if I want to. It's just <laughs> well, you never so want much to. romancing, I don't feel the need. <laughs> Did you hear what I said? <laughs> yes. Raven, don't cry. <laughs> no. Raven. I'm not I'm not crying. Raven, legitimately stop. You okay? <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay. 
You know what I meant. There's no... Sure. No, what were you gonna say? <sighs> what were you gonna say? Hmm? What were you gonna say? I wasn't saying anything, I was drinking water. Before that, you were about to say something and then you said... You stopped and said, sure. What were well, you gonna I... say? Nothing. N no, you said I can something. show you the word. Raven! <laughs> yes? What were you going to say? I was just... You said... Um, you said... You know what I mean. And I said, of course I know what I was going to say. Um... There's no way I don't know what you mean. That that, that was a pretty clear statement. Ravens are romantic, so you don't feel the need to. That, okay. That, that's a very clear statement. I thought maybe, like, you were referring to when I said I could be romantic if I want to, and you were going to say there's no other way to take that besides that you don't want to be romantic. Well, you don't feel the need to, and you don't want to be as, are very similar anyway. I was just clearing it up. Right, well... Hmm. This whole entire house is full of chicks that have evolutions. Oh boy. But they don't have an Eevee. <laughs> Eevee's not good enough for them, I guess. So where are you? Standing still waiting. Oh, right. Okay. You and can go we're off. Now. I was staring at the clock. Okay, let's go this way, I guess. I'm fucking now. Bless you. Thank you. Don't say that to me. How fucking dare you? What do you mean? Don't fucking say bless me. Don't say bless you when you say. Don't say bless me. Why not? I don't want to be blessed. Okay. I'm meeting Bill. <laughs> yep. Hi everyone, me again. <laughs> why, why do you say yep? Because you're meeting Bill. Ah, uh, right. Hi everyone, me again. Uh, I'm back. Oh hey, may I see your Pokemon? Yes, you may, Nurse Joy, thank you. So how are you doing this evening? I'm doing okay, I guess. I don't know what to do with commentary when you do this. <laughs> well, I'm... Why not? I just... I don't like you. I don't want to commentate well, with you. Well... That hurts. I want Raven back. That... that hurts. Sorry, fuck off, Batman. WHERE ARE THEY?! <laughs> <laughs> WHERE ARE THE OTHER DRUGS GOING?! WHERE ARE THE OTHER DRUGS GOING?! Harvey Dent. Hold on, what did this guy say? Can we trust him? Um... Alright, well, I... Oh, right, 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 we go this way, okay. I only have one rule. <laughs> it's funny, because I'm being Batman, but... You're the bat. Mm -hmm. Can we both be Batman, like no. for, the, for the rest of this episode? No. Can I? Can I be Batman? No. Why not? I don't like it. You can be well, Batman for like I'll, another ten minutes. I guess I'll just go back to doing this. Anyway, as I was gonna say, I uh, <clears throat> I apologize for the fact that you don't like me. I I realize I've been a bit of an ass. But can you really blame me? I kinda can, yeah. Oh. Well, you know what? Fine, this what is What excuse do you have? You know what? Fine, this is the last you're ever gonna hear from me. Cool. Goodbye, Danielle. You are See ne- ya. You are never, ever going to hear about any of Raven's, uh, negative thought processes. I'm fine with hearing about no, his negative thought processes. No, no, it's fine. I just goodbye. Don't like you. Good goodbye, 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 bye. Well, nice, nice going, Daniel. You hurt his feelings. Who cares? He's a dick! He's me! 
Not really. Fucking hi again, Nurse Joy. I got poison that I don't have any antidotes on me, so hook me up. That sucks. You should probably get some of those. Alright, thanks babe. See you later. I'll see you next time I need fucking healing. Fucking stupid ass cunt. Anyway. <laughs> Rude. <sighs> Sorry. Even though he's right. gone forever, some of Mega Raven will still reside within me. See, like, I'm okay right. with hearing about your negative no, thought no, no, I just don't like him. I spit a little bit. Why you gotta do that? Why you gotta do what? Why you gotta, like, interrupt me and silence me like that? I don't like that. Because I already know what you're gonna say. What I have to say is important. <sighs> then feel free to say it again. I'm okay with hearing about your negative thought processes. I just don't like well, Nega right. Raven. Right. But what I was gonna say was I kind of portrayed <laughs> Nega Raven as uh, a huge asshole, which he really isn't. Which is he, why I don't like him. Which is it's just me when I'm grumpy, but we, we will never hear from him again. Sorry to disappoint anyone who wanted to. Alright, rival. Let's get this over with. Didn't we fight, like, an episode ago? And uh, you're already fighting so. me again? When you're sending out a haunter against Tyrone, like, I'm gonna destroy you in a single hit. Pursuit. Yep. Oh. Not a single- oh, and you're gonna curse me. Thanks. And kill yourself in the process. Okay. Bye. <laughs> I love it when that happens. About to use Zubat. No, I'm not gonna switch Pokemon. Nothing can touch me. <laughs> I know. T t t nothing in this game is gonna kill you at this point. I you am, are set. I am invincible. Whereas every now and again, I do have the threat of dying, especially against the Ghost Gym Leader. I was hurt by Curse. I'm gonna fucking plow the Ghost Gym Leader. There's only I know. there's only one thing I'm gonna plow harder than that Ghost Gym Leader. The fields? Nope. <laughs> I tried to say a random thing that would make sense to plow that wasn't me. You were the you were the idea. I I know. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna plow you. Cause that doesn't Thank seem you. that doesn't seem very like pleasant on my end. Well, I'm I mean, yes, that too, but that's... I mean, like... Alright. For me, there's a big, big difference between, like, plowing or fucking someone and, like, making love to someone. And what I want to do with Danielle is the whole love-making thing. That's what I would prefer doing. Well, I mean, according to Emerald, you only want to have sex. <laughs> Raven, that was so long ago. <laughs> I'm gonna lose this battle, because I got cursed. You can always use healing items. I am, but every time I use one, curse just takes it away. What healing items are you using? I only have potions. <laughs> Why don't you buy anything? <laughs> anyway, according to Emerald, you don't <laughs> go. Raven, I think, I think I know why I win all these verses is now. It's this because... Apparently, you don't use the bike, and you also don't buy anything. You gotta speak to me so rudely. It's- I just had an epiphany, that's why I win. <laughs> I buy things and I use the bike. <laughs> Raven? Hmm? You okay? I'm fine. You don't sound fine. I am completely A-OK. -okay. Matter of fact, I'm not even A-OK. -okay. I am a Rainbow V-OK. -okay. That's some Beautiful Joe logic for you. But Beautiful Joe won. That second one had, like, letter V on fire, and that's not as cool. I mean, it's Go less gay. For it. Excuse me? It's less gay. You have a problem Cause, with... Because rainbows are... Do you, have a, do you have a problem with homosexuality? 
I don't. I was just making a comment that it's less gay. Because, because you know, you know what would, you know what having a problem with homosexuality would make you a homophobe. Super gay. <laughs> <laughs> See, the the irony is that I call things gay. Yes, I understand. <laughs> <laughs> that was a pretty good one. That was. <laughs> um, I've been called a homophobe before because of that. Really? I mean, well, like, someone was like, Raven, are you a homophobe? Because, like, I called Vinny a fag in my Skype status. And I was like, no. Like, if it's someone I... <laughs> okay. I'm going to be... Cruelly honest right now. To the point where Danielle, even you, might disagree with me. I understand, like, calling things gay or calling someone a fag is a very sensitive thing. And, like, you should be careful with how you do it. But, like, if I'm either calling a single friend of mine or in a group of friends I say it and no one has a problem with it, in my eyes, there is no problem with it. There isn't, in that case. To be honest, like... That's the same as you calling your friend a fucking bitch cunt. It'd be offensive exactly. to anybody else, just the same as faggot might. But if your friend has no problem with it, then there's no problem. Right. Or, okay, so, like, it's like, say I publicly, like, I have a video titled, Vinny is Gay. I have, in many videos, um, even as far back as Emerald, and I don't even know I ever said it back in Emerald, but, like, I only said it once, but even when I'm talking to Vinny a lot, and Danielle, you know this, Vinny and I jokingly call each other nigga all the time. All the time. All the time. Plenty of people do that. Exactly. But, like... It's kind of a term of endearment, unless you're using it. Right, like, right, right, right. But, like, sometimes... Alright, I'm gonna say a word that I normally don't let leave my mouth. Just for decency's sake. You know, have you ever had a situation where, like... It's hard to explain why you would ever be doing this. Um... You, like, use really correct grammar and words like instead of instead of um hey what's up bro saying something like what is going on my brother you know like how that's a funny thing sometimes people do yeah so some and i mean sometimes and under any other situation other than right now i wouldn't let this word leave my mouth instead of talking to Vinny, being like what up nigga like jokingly i'll be like what is up my nigger um, and I realize, you know, that's a sensitive word, and so I don't go spouting that all the time, but I, f I personally feel as though words like nigga, nigger, fag, calling something gay, yes, that is very sensitive, and again, this haunter is going to use curse and kill himself like some kind of fag. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, um but... I think half the reasons that those words, uh, half the reason those words are so offensive is because they are offensive words. The other half, in my opinion, and I realize a lot of people will disagree with me, is half the reason those words are so frowned upon is because people are just too touchy about them. G yes, I realize they are awful words, and that is more than half of the reason as to why they people get touchy about them. But it's like, in a situation where I genuinely called Danielle a cunt, genuinely, I looked her dead then in I the have eyes, the right to be offended. then you have the right to be offended. But if I were Otherwise, to- Otherwise, I'm taking offense to something on purpose. Otherwise, if I play- f if, if you're winning in a versus, and I'm just like, Danielle, you cunt, which I have done before, and you get offended, in my eyes, you are too touchy. And I I realize plenty of people dis I realize I like. plenty of people disagree with that, but that's that's my thought process. That's mine as well. And there's this saying that I like about things like this: is um, offense is often taken, not given. That is a very good saying. Taking offense in some cases is a choice. You know what quote that I like that I'm going to forcibly apply to this? What? When people take offense to something. They spent too long thinking about if they could, and not if they should. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it, I died again. Curse really comes back to bite me in the ass. 
Um, Raven liked that quote, and we just watched Jurassic Park, and you found I, out. I didn't, because I didn't know... That's where it's from. Oh, shit, I just accidentally <laughs> killed a Pokemon with Vinny. I mean, I'm going to lose this battle anyway, but... Fuck. I meant to use Flash, and I used Cut, and I had, like, one HP left. And now I gotta deal oh, with well. Vinny leveling up a bunch. <laughs> um... You we'll know, let that one slide. Okay, you know who has a problem with the words... Uh, I hate to say this word when it's not, like, jokingly with Vinny. With the words, uh, nigger and cunt? Who? Uh, Katie. Yeah, I believe it. Used in a joking sense or in a serious sense. Only under one situation is she okay with the word cunt. So that I, being? Uh, well, I mean, when we dated, we, you know, did a lot of uh, cyber sex. And so, because I don't just want to say vagina and pussy over and over, you want to change up what word you use now and then, there aren't really any other words to use that come to mind. Other than, like, womanhood. And I'm gonna... I hate to gossip about you know, previous relationships, especially around you, Daniel. Uh, I'm okay but... with it. Okay. Not to say I hated having cyber sex with KD, because I didn't. I mean, we were a couple. Um, I kind of look back at that and think, like... Hmm. <laughs> but we were. Um, and so, uh... Um... That was a thing we did, because... Danielle and I can... Didn't... See, Katie and I, when we would do stuff... This is a little difficult to talk about, but for some reason I feel compelled to do it. Um, Katie and I would do stuff, right? And, I mean, there would be a you know, level of intimacy to it, because like, we were a couple, so, you know, it's not like she went and did that with anyone. Um, well, I mean, if she, when she was, and now that she is single, she'll go and do that with others, but while we were a couple, it was only me, so, like, there was a level of intimacy to it, and I am a big fan of intimacy. Um, however, Katie had no interest in being intimate to the point of... Uh, seeing anything. She had no interest in seeing me, and she had no interest in letting me see her. Um, that sucks. Danielle, on the other hand, like, and okay, like, when I say, like, I was interested in seeing her because, you know, I'm, I'm a guy. Like, I enjoy naked females, but for the most and part... And I, I will even admit, even though I really, really don't like her, she is fucking hot. Um... Do you want to do things with Katie? No, <laughs> absolutely not. Um. So, like, yes, I, you know, I'm a guy. I, I do like boobs and stuff, you know? Um. But a big part of it was the intimacy. Like, because when you're a long-distance couple, there's only so much you can do to, like, have that intimate side of a relationship. So... With Danielle, like, we do do more than, well, we don't have any cyber sex, but we do do other stuff. And the other stuff is a lot more intimate than anything Katie and I ever did. And Video calls. What? Video calls. Right, that and texting. Sexting. Yeah, well, yes. Um, Nudes! <laughs> yes, Danielle. Um, Dick pics! <laughs> Yes, did yell. <laughs> um, but, I mean, overall, in general, for, I nearly just asked Danielle if you don't mind me saying, but I honestly don't think this is going to bother you. I am a lot happier with Danielle than I ever was with Katie, or have been with anyone else. Yes! Um, you alright over there? Yes, yes! Yes, yes, yes! You know, I can't tell if you're genuinely happy or if you're mocking me. I am me. genuinely happy. <laughs> Okay. Um, the only part that was mocking you was the constant yes. I figured as much. Um, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> it's... Wow, I just fucking one-shotted that Gengar. F are you fighting the gym leader? 
Yeah. I'm still fighting my rival because Curse keeps coming back and biting me in the ass and I can never make it past this fucking Magnemite. Why don't you buy something? I have bought super potions. I'm about to get hit by Curse. It's about to kill me, isn't it? So why don't you use Mud Slap or something then? I did, but it wouldn't kill him in one hit. Mud Slap ain't no strong move. Super potion. I think I might have it this time, though. Anyway. Um, and I will admit, I mean, firstly, I find Daniel a lot more attractive than I find Katie. <laughs> like, I'm, I mean, whew. <laughs> um, oh, okay, now not only am I cursed, but I'm poisoned. Fantastic. Uh, but I have an antidote, at least. Um. You know that curse goes away if you switch your Pokemon out. I didn't- I didn't think I was allowed to do that, because it's supposed to be a solo- and I'm about to die. I didn't think I was allowed to do that, because it's supposed to be a solo- oh, I didn't die! Alright, let's go ahead and switch out Pokemon. Use them as bait for healing Tyrone. I- sometimes I almost say Daquan. Oh, wait, we should probably end the episode. Yeah, we should. Alright. While I could ramble on about this forever, I'm- not gonna let this episode continue on just for the sake of that i'll probably say some more stuff next episode which we're not recording tonight so i probably will forget but yeah if i forget you guys can just be satisfied that you'll never get to hear the end of this <laughs> and with that we are gone bye, bye guys.